Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X, and I'm here to give you a recap of the latest episode of Supergirl. When I'm not watching the CWDC shows such as Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow, I'm watching Supergirl on CBS. And I gotta say, this episode was really fun. It was actually quite surprising. I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe it. And so the episode actually starts off with a little leak into, well not a leak, it was actually a letter that was given to Cat Grant as opposed to some information regarding a kind of like a reverse Ashley Madison type scandal. Some a flash drive containing all the names of certain people who are known for cheating online. Anyway, that ends up leading to the introduction of this of this woman who turns out to be an alien. She goes by the name Indigo. And when she first encounters Supergirl, I'm like, wait. Those lights, those lights on her forehead, those three red lights. I've seen that pattern before. Isn't that, is she related to the species that Brainiac is from? And sure enough, later on within the episode, seeing how this, not only this alien can travel through technology almost through like a weird screensaver into computers and other smartphones and other just technology in general that uses computers. When she encounters Nan, the evil Kryptonian who who lost uh, Aunt Astra because Aunt Astra was killed. Spoiler alert. Anyway, when Nan encounters this woman named Indigo, she also refers to refers her to as Brainiac 8. And I'm like, oh my god, I was right! She is a part of the Brainiac clan. And it's just really so awesome because Brainiac was a huge villain within the series of Superman and the rest of the Kryptonian lore. And it is just awesome to see that type of back and forth and interlinking with all this DC continuity. And it's very exciting. Anyway, within the episode, we have... Brainiac A essentially planning to destroy uh, uh, destroy the city along with most likely the rest of the world by getting nuclear launch codes. That's essentially her end game. All the meanwhile, Supergirl is a little bit hesitant to go back to the DO DEA. No, D yeah, DEA. Sorry, he, she's hesitant to go back to DEA because she still believes the lie on. Hank, a.k.a. John Jones, killing Aunt Astra during one of the recent episodes a while back. When in actuality, it was uh, Kara's sister. So, yeah, there's a little bit of tension back and forth, seeing how she can't get trust from, from them or from anyone, seeing how there's lots of conflictions. Because, you know, even though Aunt Astra was intentionally evil, there was a chance that she could be brought back to the side of good, and she was also the last of surviving member of Kara's family, a little relative. So anyway, there's a little fights, attentions back and forth. We end up having Indigo try uh, infiltrating the base, this nuclear launch site base, through a smartphone. It was just, oh my god, that was hilarious. And, and she was a really tough villain. She was very intimidating. I really like how it was all like the makeup, the, the people in the production, the makeup, the costumes, they are fantastic. It looks really promising. So with the help of some some Hank Henshaw, DEA, disarming the nuke and before it hits the city, that was all fun. On the meanwhile, we have Wynn, who also works, well, kind of works with the DEA in a little association since he's great at computer hacking and other computer technology. So basically, while the fight ensues, he's attempting to stop Brainiac 8 or Indigo by uploading a very nasty uh, virus to him. And while that's hap happening, when she like f uh, like hears about Wid, he she puts her hand through the f the smartphone and ends up going to the computer and ends up trying to choke Wid. It's like, oh my god, this is the next level type of thing. And there was a one line that Wynn said, basically saying, You're not a god, you're just a glorified Windows Vista. <laughs> the, the dialogue here is just great. So, yep, he uploads a virus, seemingly destroying Brainiac 8 Indigo. 
And then there's some uh, re resolutions with Hank Henshaw and Supergirl, only because her sister Alex actually does break the news. And instead of what I actually thought that she, she was going to, you know, shun out Alex and be a little bit angry towards her, she actually gives a nice a warming hug, Alex gets a good cry out, and then Supergirl holds Hank Henshaw's hand, and, you know, it was a sweet moment. It was a really nice episode. But, towards the end of this episode, we all thought that Indigo, well, actually I didn't think Indigo would be destroyed that easily, because much like Brainiac, if there's a single shred left of that technology alien, he is guaranteed to come back with the AI just as much and wreak havoc once again. So, turns out Non actually, somehow, has most of the fragmented pieces of Indigo, all like she's separated body parts, like, whoa, this is creepy. And apparently they still want to go on this project known as Myriad, which... I'm still in the dark. I've actually never heard of it within the comic lore. I don't know much about superhero comic lore. I know just enough based on what I've learned from the Justice League and Superman the Animated Series. So Myriad still is a mystery to me. But yeah, other than that, that was a good episode. It had lots of tension, lots of heart, very great special effects. I just cannot believe I saw pictures of Indigo. I only didn't get a good glimpse of her forehead to make me think, Brainiac! She is related to Brainiac. So, it was a very nice surprise. Oh, and I also forgot, Supergirl finally visits the Fortress of Solitude. Which is very nice, though. <laughs> I gotta say, the giant S-shaped key that she just puts on, that Superman puts just on the side of the entrance, that's kind of hilarious, but ridiculous. But, you know, hey, if you're gonna go for the little joke of saying only certain people can lift it, then so be it. But yeah, it was good. It was very nice. Um, I'm hoping to see more of the Fortress of Solitude. And I am looking forward, still very looking forward, to March 28th when we see the Flash cross over onto Supergirl's show. That's gonna be so awesome. You can guarantee that I am going to recap that. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Double X, and I will see you next time.